a heat engine employing a carnot cycle has an efficiency eta now if the same heat engine is reversed and used as a refrigerating machine we need to find what is the refrigerating efficiency of that of that refrigerating machine so let's say this is a hot reservoir and a cold so heat engine operates between them so it takes q1 heat from hot reservoir and releases q2 into cold and work w is extracted and efficiency is defined as w by q1 and you can see here w is q1 minus q2 because so by energy balance you can see q1 is a q1 goes in two forms w and q2 so w is q1 minus q2 which gives the efficiency as 1 minus q2 by q1 and here in pv graph these two are adiabatic process so here the work done is positive that means q1 is also positive so heat is taken in by the system and here the heat is released by the system so yeah now in refrigeration cycle the cycle is just reversed it still operates between the same two reservoirs but this time it takes the heat q2 from cold reservoir and it releases heat q1 into hot reservoir and w work is now required now the refrigerating efficiency for a refrigerate refrigerating cycle is defined as q2 by w how much heat it it can extract from the cold reservoir divided by work so again by the energy balance you can see w plus q2 is q1 so w is q1 minus q2 so w is q1 minus q2 so we just divide by q1 both sides so this becomes q2 by q1 upon 1 minus q2 by q1 so from here uh, from this equation we can find q2 by q1 that is 1 minus eta so we just put that value here and we get our answer the efficiency of this uh, cycle is 1 minus eta by eta so yeah the pv cycle is just reversed and you can again see that here the work done is positive so heat is taken in by the system and here pdv is negative so heat is released into the system because work done is also negative yeah